Thanks a lot. See you yeah, later. Go, alligator in a wild crocodile. <laughs> Hello everyone. Today I wanted to do a video. Um, uh, someone made a fan edit of me actually and I realised probably for the last four or five years I've started every video with Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do a video about uh, when in actual fact you probably know what it's going to be about because it's already in the title but I just like to say today I'm going to be talking about today I'm going to do a video on almost like a little school teacher. Well class, today we're going to learn about... Yeah, today um, I wanted to do a little haul. Um, as you know, I went to Playlist um, in Orlando, Florida last week and uh, there was one day, which was the Saturday, that myself and Louise didn't have any panels, any Q&As, any anything. So we decided to jump in a cab and we went to the mall at Millennia and did a little bit of shopping. So I thought it was only right that I uh, shared with you some of the things that I purchased whilst I was in the USA. I am gonna quickly say I'm getting a cold. So I apologize in advance if I'm all sniffly or if there's like snot going everywhere, which hopefully won't happen, but you know, it's best to give a warning. You can thank Anna and Jonathan and their adorable children for this cold, which they ever so kindly passed on to myself and I think Alfie. So I love you, Anna and Jonathan. Thank you very much. It's the best gift you could have ever given me. I'm joking. They did warn me that, that I could catch their illness, but it's fine. Everyone gets ill. Blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I'm just gonna have myself some Evian. Is this Evian? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that gulping was epically loud. This is a tiny bottle of water just in case I get thirsty throughout the video. Playlist was amazing. Um, I put a video up on my second channel, which uh, kind of was a rundown of the event and also a little snippet of the shopping day. So you can actually go on over to my second channel and watch it. Uh, I also kind of explain and show you how uh, my meet and greet worked, which I actually loved, by the way. I loved it so, so, so very much. So you can go on over and check that out once this video is finished. For now, Let's get on with the haul because I have a fair few things. So the first place we went was Victoria's Secret. I bought lots and lots of underwear, which I was contemplating showing you. And then I was like, I mean, bras kind of all look the same and the pants were cute. I think I had one with bees on and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I kind of just put that away. Sephora. Oh, Sephora. I went in here because we do not have a Sephora here. Do we? Do we now? Do we have one now? I don't think we do. Um, so I wanted to go there. And uh, all weekend Louise was sporting these like amazing gold tattoos. Uh, they weren't real tattoos, they were just transfer tattoos, but they were metallic and they looked super cool. So I picked up some of those. Um, I got the Sophia ones and the Zara ones. Um, they just, they just look really awesome. Like some of them are little like feathers and like bracelets and necklaces even and I don't know I just think for the summer these would look really really cool and Louise pulled them off and she did look really really cool and she'll really like me saying that. The next thing I noticed when perusing the NARS counter uh, was that they were fully stocked of NARS Sheer Glow. Now over here in the UK I've been trying to get hold of Mont Blanc which is my shade in NARS Sheer Glow for a good three months and they've just not had any in stock anywhere. Uh, so they had it! Yay! And because it was sitting right next to it, I also picked up the new one, which is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, which is also in Mont Blanc. This one is similar packaging, but it's uh, like a frosted glass and it's taller and it's not as like wide. And it has a freaking pump. Thank you, Nars. Thank you, you finally understood our pain. There's a pump, ladies and gentlemen. So I will let you know how I get on with that. I also picked up some Duo um, Eyelash Adhesive. I lost mine, plus it kind of went moldy. I know this because Duo Glue has a funny smell. It smells fishy, smells kind of gross. The worse that smells, the more it's gone off. So if you open up your glue and you're like, wow, that stinks, throw it away immediately. Do not put it on your eyes. Don't put something that's out of date on your eyes. That is never going to end well. So I bought some new um, glue. 
Next up, I found this as I was queuing. I think Sephora are known for their tiny little products and miniatures of things which kind of grab you as you're queuing to pay. Um, and I just bought one of my favourite shower oils. This is the Locutane, um shower oil. It's with al it's basically almond oil and it's just really super lovely. I just think for going away on holiday, this would be awesome because it's super moisturising and it leaves your skin feeling amazing. And because it's an oil, I like don't use so much of it. So the full size one of this, I still have so much of. Um, there's just kind of actually no need to go bigger than this, I don't think, because a little goes a long way. What else did I get? Oh yeah, I also picked up the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. Everyone goes on about this, so I wanted to kind of see what everyone was raving about. I don't know which one I've picked up. Oh wait, smooths wrinkles. Good then, for my really wrinkly lips. I tell you why, I rushed, I rushed it. There was lots there and I rushed it. I just went, ah, oh, quick, grab one, I'm in the queue, I'm next up. Oh well, I'm not gonna get wrinkly lips anytime soon. Cool, well, I'll let you know how I get on with this. 100% felt it improved dry lips, 100% noticed more moisturised, nourished, supple and softer lips. Just what I want. And the grand finale, Oh, flicked my hair, got excited. The grand finale! This Stila palette. Um, it's called Soul. It is beautiful. This is what it looks like. It is so shiny and beautiful. It has three S's. And, ooh, on the inside it's rose gold and it has a huge mirror. This is one plus for me, because if I'm going somewhere, generally the biggest mirror that I have is my bronzer mirror, because bronzer tends to be bigger. Why is that? I don't know. Um, so, perfect. And the colours in this are just beautiful. They're all really pretty nude colours. There's one, two, three, four matte shades, and the rest are shimmers, and one looks quite glittery. But, I just, I just know that I'm gonna fall in love with this and I have Louise to thank for pointing this out to me. And this says, since love grows within you, so beauty grows. For love is the beauty of the soul. By St. Augustine. Augustine? Augustine. Augustine. The saint. <laughs> this is a mixture of things I bought whilst I was in the shop and things that um, lovely viewers and watchers of my videos gave me at my meet and greet. So I just thought I would add them all in together because I kind of had them all around the same time. Um, so the ones I actually picked up myself, this one. Uh, the thing about Bath & Body Works is, it's very overwhelming. There are so many colors and so many different things you don't really know where to start unless you're with someone who knows the shop really super well. I mean, the staff were very helpful, uh, but myself and Louise were kind of like, oh, we're just gonna browse, thanks, typical English. It's like, we don't need help, we just look ourselves and struggle. Um, but Louise found it quite overpowering in scent, and she was just a bit like, I'll just stand here by the door and you have a look. So I was kind of like browsing through, but also not knowing what I was looking for. Um, but I did really like this cute candle. This is called White Barn Market and it's called Sparkling Limeade. It smells amazing. It smells so fresh and so spring-like. Like, I just feel like this is the perfect candle to light now here in the UK. And the label's so cute. So I picked that one up. Also picked up this one, which obviously they have massive, massive ones, like three wick candles, but already my suitcase was so heavy I couldn't lift it myself. So if I was gonna try and get home uh, like the big ones, I would have really struggled. In fact, whoever was happy with my case would have really struggled. And my bank probably would have struggled too because I would have had to pay like an extra charge on weight, which I wasn't prepared to do. And also I'd never tried the candles before, so I went for the smaller ones. Um, so this one is called Honeysuckle Bouquet. I love smells like this. Like, summer garden smells are my favourite. Honeysuckle actually is one of my favourite scents. I really, really like it. It's such a nice smell. It reminds me of my garden back home, which is why I picked that one up. The next one is called Eucalyptus Mint. And this one is a much more fresh kitchen scent. I really like this one. I'm starting to really prefer fresh scents over kind of sweet, sickly scents, so a lot more like floral, but kind of not too floral. Like, you, I think the mint in this really like helps 
um, kind of balance out the scents, but I think this smells amazing. Oh, I can't wait to like these. Alfie is in for a right treat. And the last one I picked up is a uh, Lilac Blossom. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is actually my favorite one. Um, this one plus this one, I feel like if you lit together would smell like the most beautiful floral summer garden. Like, you know when you just go into those people's gardens who've got all the flowers you could ever imagine and you're like, wow, you really look after your garden. There's not many, but there are a few that really cherish their gardens and have the most amazing flowers everywhere. If I shut my eyes and smell these two candles together, I'm in that garden. <laughs> it's amazing, come join me, buy the candles. I want my garden to smell like this. This is my goal. My goal is to make my garden smell like these candles in the summer. <laughs> I think I've been smelling candles for far too long and I've gone crazy and I'm almost crying with laughter at myself which is literally the most stupid thing. Uh, I just, oh, I could just sniff this all day. I'm already obsessed with this candle and I've not lit it yet. How am I going to buy another one? So good. So good. I got you. Boo, boo, boo. Boo. Next up is uh, the stuff that uh, the gorgeous and wonderful uh, people at my meetup bought for me from Bath and Body Works because I did do a tweet before I went there like, let me know what's amazing because um, I'm going to go. So obviously they kind of knew their favourites and I think that way is so much easier. Like, if you know what someone loves, you can go in there and be like, right, mental note, I know that person likes that. Um, so they got me lots of little things that they knew that they loved that they thought I might like, which was just so nice. I just... Oh, my viewers, you guys are the best. You're just the best. Okay, so the first thing I have is sleep, um, aromatherapy, nighttime tea, body wash and foam bath, soft and soothing, uh, is it cedar wood or cheddar wood? <laughs> cheddar wood. Anyone want to bathe in cheddar? Oh man, okay, I've got it on my nose, but that smells so good. That actually smells a bit like my ghost perfume, Eclipse. It smells really good. Okay, I'm excited to use this. Next thing I have is this which is the fine fragrance mist in beautiful day let's have a little spritz so you don't really get to look at any of the mists i'm not a massive mist person the only mist i use is my own which is kind of funny and a bit weird is it weird probably not oh that smells so good not as good as mine but still carried away coupe de foudre Coupe de foudre. This is like a mini travel uh, shower gel. So let's have a look. Let's have a let's have a sniff of that one. At first sniff, it smelled like vomit. And I was never going to tell you guys to buy something that smelled like vomit. Hang on, let me. Oh yeah, that's really nice. That's really fresh. A really nice fresh scent. Perfect for travel. Uh, sheer cashmere hand cream. Ooh, I needed a hand cream too. Let's try a bit of that. Let's try a bit of that. Carried away, so it's the same scent. Very nice. I also got given one of these, which is Twilight Woods Shimmer Mist. Now, I have never used a shimmer mist before, but I love the idea of these, especially when you're on holiday and you've got a good tan and you're going on like your evening meal out and you just want a little bit of shimmer. Do you know what I mean? Let's try, let's try a little bit on the arm. Can you see the shimmer? I'll just move my arm sexily. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really pretty. Oh my goodness, that scent is really nice. Oh, I've got a really glittery hand as well now. Someone also got me three little candles. I'm gonna open them because I wanna smell them. First one is Pink Petal Tea Cake. Oh, that's really nice actually. I did think that was gonna be like a cake scent, but it's actually not. It's more of a floral scent. I like that. Next one is green and it's called Bloom. Oh, I have high hopes for this. This might smell like the perfect garden in the summer. Oh man. It is, it is. These three candles together are just, are just perfect. You don't need flowers, just like those. Stuck that wick up my nose, didn't I? And the last one is Watermelon Lemonade, which I did smell in the shop and I really liked and I forgot to pick up. Ah, oh, so good. Oh, 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 I'm going crazy from the scent. Also got given some 
hand sanitizers. Now, as I was queuing, there were troughs and troughs. I really like that word, trough. There were troughs and troughs of hand sanitizers, and um, I just there was too many to to kind of look at. Does that make sense? I don't know. Me and Louise were like. Ugh. To test the scent, you kind of have to put it on your hand, and then once you've put like two on there, you're like, I don't know what the scent is anymore because I have like four different hand sanitizer smells on my hand. First one is Caribbean Escape. I'm actually going to twist the lid off. I'm not going to put this on my hand. Learn that the the silly way. Oh, that smells good. That does smell really good. It smells kind of coconutty. Let me put a little bow on it. It's so cute. It is called Paris. What does Paris smell like? Paris smells good. This one's called Beautiful Day, which is this fragrance. I wonder if that's a popular fragrance. You'll have to let me know. <sighs> so good. I really like that one, actually. I think that one and Caribbean Escape are my faves so far. And this one is Mahogany Teak Wood. I'm imagining this to smell like a varnish, like a wood varnish. <laughs> this is my favorite. <gasps> this smells so good. I'm just gonna put a bit on me. I'm gonna come away from filming this video and Alfie's gonna be like, you smell really strong. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. I would never have picked this up either, so thank you for that. But I also wanted to include a few of the sweets and treats that uh, some of you guys were kind enough to give me also at my meet and greet because what is going to America without bringing back some form of American treats? The next thing I want to show you just before I go on to the sweets and treats is a little gift that a girl called Megan gave me at my meetup. I remember her name because she was super cute. Um, and it's this little dish um, that I am, I just really like it. It says, live simply, expect little, give much. Fill your life with love, scatter sunshine, forget self, think of others and do as you would be done by. And I just think that's so cute. And I'm gonna put all my jewelry in this because it's like a little shallow dish and it's glass and it's just really lovely. So thank you, Megan. Sweet and treats. I can't go to America and not come away with pop tarts. Um, and someone got these for me. Oh, they didn't put their Twitter name on. Normally they put their Twitter name on. I can't remember who it was. Um, I can see them in my mind, but I can't remember the name. Um, and these are the hot fudge sundae ones. I've not tried these ones, so I'm excited to give these a try. I also got given these, which are Jolly Ranchers, but they're gummy edition. I have a gummy edition, gummy edition. I've not tried the gummy ones, and red sweets are always my favorite. I think they knew that. Like, I'm the sort of person that picks out all the red sweets from every type of thing, apart from Smarties, where I just pick out the orange ones because they taste the best. Mmm, that's good. I also got given a massive bag of the hard-boiled Jolly Ranchers. These are amazing. Green apple, cherry, watermelon grape, and blue raspberry. Mmm-mm. Last but not least. Oh, there's a card on the back of this. Ooh. You really said to take this on. Now, if I remember rightly, these were given to me by a boy. me like cry. As an early birthday gift, I hope you enjoy the red velvet Oreo cookies I have given you. They're limited edition here in the United States. Thanks again for all that you do and it was amazing to meet you. I love you Zoe. Bye Matt. Thank you so much Matt. That is so cute. I'm glad I saw that. Ta-da! Red velvet Oreos. Cream cheese flavoured cream. Um, I'm not going to try one now because I'll literally get it everywhere. But I am going to try these for sure very soon. So that is everything that I was given or bought whilst I was over in the States. Um, let me know what your favourite things from Bath & Body Works are, if I've shown any of your favourite scents. <sighs> if you're now excited to have a summer smelling house slash garden and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I will see you again very very soon for another video and I love you. Don't say that very much but I really do. I really love every single one of you watching this. You make me very happy.